of all the 800 projects that you've done, what was, you know, kind of being the adventurous type? What was the most dynamic, complex, craziest thing that you've ever had to try to figure out and wrap your head around? Like, is there like one that pops out? As oh, like, yeah, for sure. What, t tell us um, about that one. We had a platform that had a fire and an explosion after Hurricane Ike. And um, I... I went offshore to look at it in its damaged condition. It's absolutely amazing to see what these ginormous steel structures can end up looking like. <laughs> um, and, you know, the entire top part of the structure was damaged. And typically that's our lift points and that's where we would be lifting the structure from. So we had to come up with a way to remove the structure um, by lifting it from underneath. And I think that took a total of almost two years from beginning planning to final execution to do the engineering for that. Um, it was a very intricate project and a lot of details and um, that was a, a great one to work on. Wow. Think about that. Like, you, you don't really think about that. You hear in the news, like, oh, platform is on its side or and they have to cut off the well and it's leaking. But then there's this two year trail of like massive engineering to yeah. try to figure out how to make sure this thing doesn't topple and fall into the water and lift it from the bottom. And it's everything's like it has no no structural integrity and so i mean it's got to be i mean the mathematics on that have to be kind of i mean you you almost have to be a three-dimensional thinker right you have yeah. to think of every angle possible that could go wrong i Is think that it, right? in decommissioning you, you definitely have to think outside the box you know when when you're doing new design you can design something exactly how you want it to be but in decommissioning you have to work with the what you have and these structures are, they're old, they're damaged. They've seen a lot of corrosion. Um, they're, we don't have the data and you're limited to certain number of vessels that, that can really do the work um, as well. So um, there's a lot of challenges with it.